Um, hi, Gary Bunnell here. Uh, I'm getting a lot of uh, questions about uh, the first video in particular about uh, us humans as being threefold beings. And <laughs> it's, uh, it's amazing to me that we, we humans exist anyway. I mean, it's, it's amazing. When, when you think of all the life that's been on the earth and that has evolved up through uh, Gaia's vision of, of uh, life, um, we're the least likely to exist. And what I mean by that is we're such an unusual combination of body, spirit, and eternal soul. And as I explained in the first video, that that eternal soul is an aspect of the creator. And the creator, through our soul, witnesses Gaia's creation. So, uh, but I want to further uh, uh, talk about that threefold nature. So, in our physical body, we have three very distinct areas that process information and that share information with each other. We've got the cranial brain that um, through the hundred billion neurons that exist in, in our brain, uh, through all of the uh, synaptic connections, the electromagnetic impulses, um, the hormones that, that rage in our body, all of that talks to each other and allows us to distinguish uh, patterns uh, through our senses. So uh, it helps us with uh, uh, continue with our expectations. Now, our expectations actually drive our senses. So we see what we expect to see. We hear what we expect to hear. So our cranial brain, of course, is, is the master organ. It's about three pounds uh, on average, and uh, it's really the master organ of the body, of course. It regulates most all function. The heart brain is uh, very much like the cranial brain, except it's only got about 40 million neurons, and those um, those neurons actually produce the largest electromagnetic force in the body. And uh, the heart sends messages to the brain that actually helps the brain think, helps the brain through the linear aspect of, of creation. Uh, then we have the gut brain. And the gut brain is a little bit more involved in the process uh, than the heart brain. Uh, the gut brain has a hundred million neurons or thereabout, and it produces 70% of two very important hormones, cortisol, which uh, we produce when we're in stress and anxiety and uh, uncertain, or we are lacking confidence. Um, it also produces about 70% of the serotonin that uh, flows through our body. And at nighttime, the gut brain is really the part of our, our overall consciousness that helps in the dream state, that helps actually uh, signal from the subconscious mind to our conscious mind, helps to signal patterns and, and landscapes and um, it, it defies time. We can be in, in a dream here and then the, a moment later on the other side of the planet kind of thing. So the gut brain is the body, our DNA, our ancestral memory. The heart brain is our spirit uh, awareness, our spirit's strategic uh, presence. Um, it's the reincarnation patterns that we have uh, give us a strategy for life, and that comes from the heart. The cranial brain is where, of course, we connect to universal mind, the creator. And so it's body intelligence, instinctual intelligence, 
its spirit um, strategic intelligence and its soul, the connectivity to all that is, that uh, every molecule in creation through universal mind. Now, out of all of that, in the human experience, the heart brain is actually the focal point because it, it allows us to have empathy. It also allows us to connect to Gaia's manifest mind, all of nature, uh, plants, animals, each other. Uh, that heart brain um, is magnetic, whereas the cranial brain is electro. So when you think of a human, it's an electromagnetic being, which in creation, that's what drives everything is the electrical impulses, uh, the magnetic impulses. Uh, it all uh, comes together to create our universe. And we are a representation, a full representation of that universe as an electromagnetic being. The gut brain, uh, it's where our subconscious mind hangs out. And all of that early programming that we receive, this is right, that's wrong, you know, all of the familial and cultural instruction, by the age of seven, that all goes subconscious and pretty much um, guides us through life. When we begin to connect up that what we are as threefold beings, we no longer are being pushed by that subconscious programming. We're not reprogramming the, sub, the subconscious. We are actually stepping outside of the subconscious. We'll still have that there, but it won't be the dominant factor. And so, so we are threefold beings. Those threefold aspects operate out through our physical body in those three brains that we have, the gut brain, the heart brain, and the cranial brain. So it's, it's really important uh, for us to awaken to the fact that, that we are spiritual beings having a human experience. We're not human beings trying to be spiritual. And of course, I did not originate that. That's been around for quite a long time. And um, my wife said to me this morning as I was preparing to come to the studio that it would be really good if I smiled more and I injected some humor. Uh, so in future videos, I plan on smiling more and then doing some one-liners just for the heck of it. So thanks for watching this. I hope this helps clear up a couple of the questions I got through uh, YouTube and through private messaging on Facebook. So uh, thank you very much. Hope to connect with you again in the future. Bye for now.